mini maps. They're one of the uh, best ways, in my opinion, to add mods to Minecraft that don't really affect gameplay too much, but can give you some pretty cool results, especially as you build out your world. That's because not only can a mini map help you find mobs and things like that and give you a way to see where you're at, mini maps like Journey Map, which is going to be the one that we are featuring in this video, actually add in a complete top down look at Minecraft, allowing you to see your entire world everywhere you've been, all of that stuff from a top down perspective. It also allows for things like waypoints and overall it's just a really, really good mod. Let's go ahead and get it up and running. First things first, we need to go to the second link in the description down below. It's gonna take you here. This is our text tutorial for getting journey map and it goes over everything you could possibly need to know about getting journey map up and running. Now we're gonna be covering all this in this video as well, but you might wanna go through things either at your own pace or maybe you're like me. I actually prefer text tutorials oddly more than video, even though that's what we do here. But nevertheless, that's why we had these for those of you that are like me. You can go through everything and read through it. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow download journey map button. That takes you to Journey Map's official download page on CurseForge, where we can look at the right hand sidebar and scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section. Under that, you'll see Journey Map 1.19.3 Forge. We want to make sure that this is the 119.3 and Forge version. This one is, so click the orange download button here to the right and the download begin after a few seconds. While that's downloading, how about our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below to break down the XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love this Apex so much, we host all of our Minecraft servers on Apex, and if you want to have plugins or mods or anything like that to your server, you can do so at Apex quickly and easily. They also have 24 hour, 7 day a week support should you have an issue. So check them out at the first link down below to break down the XYZ slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, Journey Map is now downloaded. You may need to keep it in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, but that really does just depend on the browser that you're using. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and move on and download Forge. Forge is required for Journey Map. It's the mod loader that makes Journey Map and a lot of other Minecraft mods work correctly in game. You can get to here by going to the third link in the description down below. And once you are here, you'll find an in-depth guide on getting Forge. We're gonna go through the basics in this video, but should you have any issues or anything like that, that's why we have this down here. It's a complete guide, troubleshooting issues, all that. It's covered and you can click on these and go down to them, right? Bam, there we go, how to update Forge. There you go, there it is. So that is all in this article. But once you're here, click on the download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. Here we want to make sure that Minecraft 1.19.3 is selected. As you can see right there it is. The center of your screen, it is automatically selected. If it's not for you, you can select it on the left-hand sidebar to ensure 1.19.3 is there. Once you see it, come under Download Recommended and click on the Installer button. This big installer sort of button here, and that will take you off to Add Focus. We're stuck! Don't click a single thing on this page at all! What do you I said don't click anything! Don't click anything. Just put your hands in the air for about 10 seconds. Then after about 10 seconds, you'll see this in the top right, that red skip button right there. Click on that red skip button in the top right, and immediately in the bottom left of Google Chrome, Forge will start downloading. As long as Forge is in the title, you're safe to keep this file. Same thing goes around other browsers, if it's in the server screen, whatever. You're safe to keep the file as long as Forge is in the title. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we can go ahead and move these to our desktop just because it's easier to manage them once they're there. Do that, click the little notice icon, top left of my screen, bottom of your screen, or bottom of your screen on Windows 11, type in downloads. You have a downloads file folder most likely. If you do click on it, I don't. It just stops showing up all of a sudden, randomly. So I have to go to File Explorer now, and then in the left-hand sidebar, you want to scroll down to this PC, where you'll have a downloads option. Here you'll also find your files that you downloaded, right there, Forge and Journey Map. Drag these to your desktop for ease of use. Now, if these icons don't look like mine, that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to fix that, but first, let's just see if we can open up Forge. To do that, right-click on it, click on Open With, and click Java, and click OK. Now, if this worked for you, and, and you got to the mod system installer for Forge, well, just press forward on your keyboard a few times and you'll skip forward in the video and we can get to installing this. But for those of you that that didn't work for and who have weird icons, how do we fix it? Well, we need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Journey Map, but pretty much any Minecraft mod and servers, if you're hosting your own server, require it. We have an in-depth guide on it, of course, in the description that goes over everything you need to know to download, install, and get Java up and running for Minecraft 1.19, specifically Java 17 up and running for Minecraft 1.19. For most of you, this will allow you to open up Forge. For some of you, you'll need the jar fix. And you can find that in the description down below as well. It goes over everything on getting the jar fix. Worth noting though, that in order to run the jar fix, you do need Java 17. So get Java 17 first, then run the jar fix, and you'll be good to go. Something else that the jar fix does is also fix those icons. So if your icons look different from mine, you wanna look like this, the jar fix will fix that after you get Java. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up Forge, right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click okay. That's gonna open up the mod system installer here, where we wanna click on install client, right like so, and click okay. 
gonna open up the 1.19.3 installation process of Forge, and the only reason that this would fail is if you have never played Minecraft 1.19.3 before without mods. If that's the case, go play it. Latest release, 1.19.3, just the general Minecraft version. Close out of it, come back, and this will be able to be installed. Or if you had Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher open, if either of those are open, make sure they're closed, reopen up Forge and reinstall it, and you should be good to go. Nevertheless, we can now click out of this, click OK, and it will close out of Forge. We can also delete it from our desktop. Now let's get Journey Map. Do this, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher here, and then in the Minecraft launcher, what we want to do is make sure that we select our Forge profile when we played the game. Now in my case, that was automatically selected. It's just right here, Forge, 1.19.3 under it, selected, good to go. We can click play, click play again. But for those of you that don't have Forge here, what do you do? Well, you click on installations up here at the top. If you've got Forge, click play, click play again. But if you still don't have it, make sure modded selected. As you can see, you unselect modded, it disappears. You select modded, there it is. But if you still don't have Forge, or you don't have the 1.19.3 version of Forge, click new installation. Now you can name this wherever you want. We're gonna name it Journey Map 1.19.3 because that's what we're installing, except I think Journey Map is one word. And then we wanna come under versions here and we wanna select the release 1.19.3 dash Forge version. For me, it's up at the top. I've seen it be at the very, very bottom though, and I've also seen it be at weird places in the middle, like right around Minecraft 1.0, which I think is like, yeah, right here, right? So just, it could be anywhere in this list. Hopefully it's up at the top like it is for me. Click on that, and then you know, I'm gonna change for resolution. You don't have to. I'm assuming that's once we get in game, you can see better. Now we can click create in the bottom right. We have this new journey map installation that most importantly has the correct version, 119.3 Forge under it. Click play, click play again, and now the hard part's over. That's the hardest part of getting journey map is getting Forge install. Once you have Forge, you're going to be amazed how easy it is to get Journey Map up and running in it. So I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu to do exactly that. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and as you can see, we have this mods button. That mods button is added by Forge, and it's how we can add Journey Map. So click on mods here, then click on the open mods folder button in the bottom left. Again, that was from the main menu. Click mods and open mods folder in the bottom left. That then opens up our mods folder, where we want to drag and drop Journey Map from our desktop into our mods folder, right like so. Now we can close out of this and close out of Minecraft 1.19.3 because we need to restart Minecraft with Forge in order to activate Journey Map. So let's do that. Open up Minecraft Launcher here. Again, making sure that we are playing Minecraft with that Forge installation. That's extremely important. Anytime you want to play Journey Map or any other Minecraft mods you have installed, you'll need to use Forge or Fabric, but Forge is the one we're using here. So click play, click play again, and now Minecraft's going to open up with Journey Map installed. We'll meet you on the main menu to show you that it is up and running. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we go ahead and select Mod, we'll be able to see there's journey map right there it is it's installed but i don't like to just show you here i also like to show you in game so let's go ahead and jump in game real fast one of the things that is worth noting is journey map has no idea where you've traveled in your world before you install it but once you install it it is tracking everything so as you can see here we log in and uh, nothing's showing up there but as chunks render and things like that it starts to generate the mini map around us now the mini map is there by default but if you noticed in chat it said press j well, if we press J, it opens up this, and it just tells you what's new and has some stuff about, you know, journey map and kind of about it. But if you click close here, this is the top-down mini-map I was talking about. You can zoom in, you can see stuff, and imagine seeing things like servers and stuff in this top-down view. You can do that. So as we fly around, it will load in and generate more and more stuff around us that's going to be reflected on that top-down map. So if we just go like this and then hit J again, boom, as you can see, it has gotten even more. Now, one of the cool things is, oh, wait, I didn't mark our spawn. What do you mean mark your spawn? Well, if you double click on the mini map, you can actually set up a waypoint. So you can mark spawn here, right? So we can name this simply spawn and let's make it a bit of a brighter yellow. Now we click save and turn around, there is the spawn. But if we wanted to also make a, you know, kind of a mention in game without having to open up the mini map and all of that, you can do so by pressing the mini map key, which I don't know off the top of my head. So one quick second, let me look. It looks like that is going to be B. You can also see some of the other important kind of a uh, journey map different functions that you can use and the full screen map as well as just journey map in general right here so if we come in here and press b we'll say mark these pumpkins because why not press b and then we can type in pumpkins and we'll make this orange boom save so now we have our pumpkins right there we have our spawn back there and if we go into the big mini map we can zoom in and see there's the spawn and then if we zoom out we can see there is the pumpkins 
super, super powerful. You can manage all of your waypoints by clicking this button down here that says waypoints. Right there they are. You can delete them, remove them, turn them on and off, different things like that. As well as if we click this button next to waypoints, this is our options. And in here you can configure your mini map and do so much different stuff with it. It's kind of crazy everything you can do with a mini map, including just turn it off. Maybe you don't want the mini map on for whatever reason. You can turn that off, turn off waypoints, villagers. What do you want shown? It can all be done there. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. You now have your Minecraft mini map installed that does a lot more than just be a mini map. It does a lot of awesome map features. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.